What? Beartopia is a 3D game? That's not a 3D game. Oh wait, what? Hello, this is your fellow game dev, Chrisus Maximus, bringing you another Beartopia devlog. In this video, I will be talking about why I decided to make my 2D game, Beartopia, into a 3D game. This video will also talk about some of the different depth sorting systems used in Game Maker Studio, specifically the ones I have used in Beartopia. Also, Beartopia Beta Edition is available for free on itch.io, so please check it out. Link in the description below. Before we begin, I would like to thank Captain D for the heartwarming comment. This comment was made over a month, but I'm still touched by your words. It brings me joy knowing that your kids had hours of fun playing Beartopia. It's comments like these that drive me to continue making Beartopia. Thank you. Now. Let's talk about Beartopia. At first glance, the game may not look 3D, but it is. Beartopia now uses orthographic projection. Unlike perspective projection, which is what you're used to when you're looking at 3D games, in orthographic projection, objects do not appear smaller as they go further away from the camera. However, the depth is still preserved. Normally, when we're making a 2D game, depth is handled by the CPU. This is no problem if objects stay at the same depth. But when it comes to games like Beartopia, where we have thousands of bears whose depths are constantly changing, the CPU starts to complain. In my previous video, I talked about how I managed the graphics and how this improved the FPS. Unfortunately, this isn't the only thing that slows the game down. There are three big things that could potentially slow down the game. Graphics management, depth sorting, and collision detection. If either of these is not optimized, the game will slow down. This gets me worried because right now, collision detection is yet to be implemented. But that will be another problem for another day. We have already solved graphics management, so let's move on to depth sorting. The classic version of Beartopia used the depth equals negative y depth sorting technique. This is one of the simplest and easiest ways to sort sprites. Beartopia Beta Edition used another sorting technique using DS Grids. In this sorting technique, the sprite's ID and Y position are stored into a DS Grid, which is then sorted by ascending Y value, and then we draw each sprite in that order. This technique gave me more control on the draw order, like drawing shadows first before the actual object. The problem with both sorting techniques is it uses the CPU. And remember, this sorting is executed at every frame. So what happens if we use the GPU instead? Will it speed things up? The answer is yes. You see, unlike the CPU, the GPU can handle multiple calculations simultaneously. The GPU also has a built-in depth sorter which is primarily used in 3D games, but we can also use this in 2D games as well. Thanks to Aryak's Z-Tilting technique, I was able to figure out how to sort my sprites using the GPU. If you want to learn more about this, there is a link to his blog in the description below. Aside from the FPS increase, there are other advantages to using the GPU. One advantage is it handles things per pixel and not per sprite, which means that a sprite can be both above and behind another sprite. This is effective when the bears are swimming. The bottom half of the bear is submerged in the water, while the top half is not. In beta edition, I had to manually cut the sprite to give the submerged illusion. Another advantage is we can now draw our sprites in any desired order. This is helpful if multiple objects are drawn with the same shader or blend mode. We can significantly reduce the number of times we change the shader, which reduces the amount of vertex batches, which ultimately speeds up the game. GPU depth sorting also helps ease the development of varying terrain heights. Things like sprite and shadow depth handling can get extremely difficult without the use of GPU's Z buffer. If it weren't for the GPU depth sorting, I do not think I'll be able to make world generation, which is something that I will talk about more in the next video. The biggest problem I experienced with GPU depth sorting is lighting. It was extremely difficult to implement. The reason is because light is semi-transparent. 
The only way to fix this is to sort lights manually via CPU. There are several other problems I've encountered when dealing with lighting, such as light over shadow, shadow over light, silhouettes behind walls, etc. Solving these problems took me days and gave me such a big headache. By the time I solved it, I was too exhausted to rejoice. So that's about everything to 3D depth sorting. Making Bertopia 3D has not only helped me improve the FPS, but it also helped me overcome graphical issues with ease. Don't forget to like the video if you liked and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That's all for now. See you in the next video.